Hey, hey, folks! Welcome back to Let's Give It a Go with me, Binio81. Today, I am pr playing FTL or Faster Than Light. Um, you've probably seen this around. It's not a new game, particularly uh, as it says down here. It's uh, 2012, so it's been around for a while. But I've not had the chance to really get into it yet. I've had a few games of it just um, to see what it's like and to try to kind of get the hang of it. Because I didn't want to, you know, spend an episode of Let's Give It a Go just really, really dragging things on me, trying to figure things out. But anyhow. Um, this is basically, for those of you who don't know, you are in charge of a spaceship. You're fleeing from uh, rebels with a message for your uh, team, <laughs> I guess, or your side. So, uh, yeah, new game. Right, start off, we've got to name our ship. Uh, of course, got to name it something awesome and uh, pretty damn memorable. I think the Enterprise works for that, you know, it's a pr pretty damn memorable ship. Uh, and a pretty awesome one of that. So, next we will go with... We've got to name our three people. Now, the person here, I think, is going to be my pilot. And what better pilot could we have than... Oh, that's actually... Uh, I know. Best pilots. Chewbacca. Just got a... It's a little... Supposed to be a little hairier than that, but can't really. Mm, no, can't really do a hairy, unfortunately. Uh, I'll just chew back uh, as this is. Now we need a engineer to make sure our ship is kept in order. And I think the person who is best suited for this line of work is uh, Samantha Carter. That uh, I'm pretty sure best engineer out there, best person we could have. Uh, and finally, we need a captain who knows how to keep his crew in line, knows exactly, you know, what to do at every opportunity, because I sure as hell won't. Um, and I think that, you know, there's there's only one person who can fit this bill, and that is Malcolm Reynolds. Uh, Reynolds, because there's not enough room for the S. <laughs> oh well. Um, Malcolm Reynolds. He is our awesome and uh, very damn shiny captain. So, with that all done and said and done, we can't do anything else. All this is equipment we can buy. We can't. I've not unlocked any new ships or layouts. So, we'll just get straight into it from there. Um, I feel like I should probably be on easy mode. Uh, you know, actually, we'll we'll do easy mode. Um, just because I'm still very unsure of this game. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Exits. It's tempting to rush for the sector exit, exit, but exploring is the only way to upgrade your ship. Try and get as much out of each sector as possible. Okay, that makes sense. So, the idea is that... Uh, doo -doo -doo, nope, that's not what I want me to click. This one is... Uh, so, once this has charged, uh, as I unpause, it immediately charges. We, the idea is for us to get to the exit, this area, before the Rebel Fleet overtake the map, or overtake us on the map. They'll, you can't see them on yet, but they'll come in from the left and they'll start zooming after us. So, with that in mind, I think I'm going to take a route, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 if I can. That seems like a good way to make the most out of this area, like the hint told us previously. I don't want to take... I don't want to visit all of them, because by that point I'd be seen by the Rebel fleet, most likely. As you jump into the system, a pirate advances on your position. They're refusing all hails. Prepare for a fight. Okay, then. Uh, Alright. I'm going to pause it and get everybody set into their positions. I should really have done this earlier. Carter, get to the engine room. Malcolm, what are you doing on the steering wheel? That's Data's job. Oh, sorry, Data, that's Chewbacca's job. Um, you can get on the weapons. Uh, in fact, actually, no, we're in a fight. Carter, I need you on the shields. So, uh, doo -doo -doo. get everybody in positions. And we're going to need to... Actually, we can arm both weapons. I am going to focus... Uh, places all shields. So, I'm going to focus this on their shield room in order to allow the burst laser to get through 
to their weapons, I think. Yeah, this is how the combat in this game works. You, If you can charge up your weapons, you can see how many I can charge up here. I've got one and then two, which totals three here. And there's just so much you can have per a... Um, bleh, per a... for your weapons and also per your ship in general. Hmm, I'm getting hit quite a bit here. Maybe I need to... It doesn't bypass the shield, but it does. Ah, uh, that's why I'm... If I click auto fire now... And the enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. We won't let that happen. They dare attack us. They're going down. And there we go. Uh, eventually, once you hit enough, the hull takes damage with each hit, uh, as well as different sections you can target. Uh, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. This will be in no way, uh, in no way a uh, tutorial or anything, by the way. I should mention that now. I'm still very new to this game, and uh, I've got to get rid of this, but Malcolm's going to get hurt. Go and give him a hand, uh, Carter. You may need to make a run for it in a minute, Mel. Uh, Mal. Get there. Cards can fix the O2. Notice because this is red, it means that the O2 isn't working. And the, since the room's red, that means there's no oxygen in there. Uh, once we've fixed that, it'll start pumping out oxygen to all the ship again. Mal, go see if you can finish off what Carter started. Uh, we always want to keep somebody on the uh, pilot seat here because he will um, help you dodge and he'll react to dangers basically uh, or he'll have the ship react to dangers come on it's taking a while oh god the whole place is uh, get in there maybe two people can do it Chewbacca maybe you need to be there uh, there's no room for you oh come on Come on! Ah, we've lost Carter. Oh God! Um, within like five minutes, I've already lost my engineer. Oh God! Get to their med bay. Oh, this is gonna be really hard. Um, it's ironic. I've, I've, as I say, I've had a few goes this game so far. I think that's the worst I've. Oh no, sorry. My first game, I did lose my entire crew to a fire um, in like the first jump. But anyhow, oh, that was terrible. Oh, true back again on the ship. Okay, I'm going to need you on the shield. Uh, shields are more important than weapons, I reckon. Oh, that is. Arg. Actually, I'll need you in the engineering bay while we're doing the jump, just in case. Oh, so horrible. I can't believe I've lost Samantha Carter already. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside this asteroid field. It immediately moves in to attack. Okay. Let's, we've got auto fire on, on both weapons. Let's focus fire on the shield to start off with. If we can take the shield down, it's going to make the burst laser 2 a lot more effective because the Artemis can pierce shields, but the burst laser 2 cannot. So focus on the shield room. Oh, we've got meteors as well to bother with. They're going to be affecting actually These are our shields, but up here, by the way, and this is their shields. But if we can actually manage to damage the shield room itself, it's going to take down the shields temporarily. Oh, come on. Another hit. Another hit. Boom. There we go. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Nice to know. Ooh. Need you in there. Before they, uh, there's a that crack in the hole will cause the oxygen to drain out of this room. Um, we need to get out of this area as soon as we can. We need to get Mal out of that room. Okay, we need to get gone. Get the gone pair, I think. We arrive at a quiet spaceport and are immediately hailed by another ship at port with a once-in-a-lifetime deal: trade nine fuel for. Wait, I'll get nine fuel if I give them two missiles. Mm, I'm not that bothered about it. Fuel, basically, this is the fuel. You use one every time you use hyper jump. Missiles, I believe, I'm using missiles for the Artemis uh, here. So every time I shoot that, I'm losing one missile. And this is drones. We've not used them yet, 
there's different drones. I think they do different things. Um, I'm going to ignore that anyhow. But they'll um, once you, as you use them, you use up the drone parts. Gonna heal up Mal, uh, Captain Reynolds, or Reynold, and then we'll head back to the him back to the engine room and see what we can do from here. Go here maybe to an unvisited location. A small shuttle appears on the local radar. Turns out it is a rebel automated scout. So we're going to have to take it down. Artemis hit the shield. Burst laser ah, hit the um, control deck. Makes more sense. Come on. Uh, he's got missiles of his own, it would seem. What did he hit there? What is that? Oh, he hit my door control, so I can't automatically um, yeah, affect my doors now. Like You can <laughs> open and close your doors from everywhere, as long as this room's fine. Uh, it's probably one of the least important rooms that I've taken, in honesty. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Mal, go fix the med bay. Chewbacca, you may as well fix the door control. Oh, I think it also it controls your drones as well. That's why it might be more important. You can see the progress here. Uh, that's what I'm kind of looking at right now. Okay, Mal, get back to the engine room. <coughs> um, Chewbacca, onto the control deck. Go here first. The only other ship at this beacon messages you. Finally, after months of waiting, someone has fallen into our trap. Yes, and that someone will blow the shit out of you. Hit the shield, hit the deck. So, it seems that we've found a fight at every possible opportunity. I think there's only one place we've been so far. There hasn't been a uh, fight. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FDL. It's trying to escape. Uh, this is a trap. You can't escape a trap. That's how it works. It's not fair to... Uh... Well, you should really be in the weapons room, I think. Okay, we're taking hits there. And there they go. They need to get their FDL in time, it seem. I need more missiles. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Okay. Uh, Chewbacca, I need you in the security room. This basically means, because this is down, we can only see the rooms that our people are in. Like, if any, if enemies boarded our ship right now, I would have no clue where they are. Oh, you might need to go there and heal up Chewbacca. Go on, Mel, you might be able to fix it. Chewbacca started it. Looks like he's fixed the crack, he just needs to fix the actual system now, there we go. Never mind, heal up, and then get back in the weapons room. There we go. Alright, we're going to head up here to the store. 114 scrap, we might be able to get something nice. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you, and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Let's do do do. Missiles are costly, but I think they'll be useful in the long run. Fuel... Mm, not really that bothered about that. Neither of the drone parts. Cloaking. 62 evasion, preventing the enemy ship from locking on with their weapons. Can't buy that anyhow, actually. Crew teleporter allows you to send your crew members to board enemy vessels. That could be useful. I could sell Malin to um, wreck their shit up while Chewbacca focuses on dodging. Uh, I'm going to fix on my ship, actually, first thing, which means I can't get the crew teleport now, but that's more important, I think. FTL Jammer. Mm, doubling the time it takes from jump. I've not had a problem with that yet. I'll scrap ship to collect 10% more scrap from any source. Not really that bothered about that. Uh, no extra weapons or anything. Uh, I think. We'll get that. And we'll leave it there for now. Um, and carry on our journey. Let's head to this location first. Keep 
get to check if the rebel fleet are actually on the map yet. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free, unharmed. Uh, no. We'll never surrender one of our crew slavers. We've already lost one. We'd only have one person left. Um, focus on the shield. Focus on the bridge. There's got, they're going to have somebody in the bridge, I'm sure. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. Hmm. If I can save a life, then you know what? I'm going to be the good guy. Accept their offer. Plus, I now have somebody to replace um, Samantha, or at least, you know, take her place somewhat temporarily. Hmm. You notice it, actually. I've just realised they've got skill levels. Um, Mal's become pretty good at repairing stuff. Chewbacca's a fairly decent pilot. Trico apparently has no skills whatsoever. Um, where are you? Oh, you're in area. What is he? Is he an alien race? It looks like it. That's a weird... It's like a bug! Oh, that's awesome! He's repairing, or...? Yeah, he is! So you can, he's like an old crew member. That's awesome! Um... I'm not that nice a guy. Ah, oh, you can't actually finish him off. That's annoying. Well, maybe you should help him. See, oh no, never mind. Okay, get in the engine room. In fact, get in the shield room. The engine room's... I'm not having any trouble. I, I think basically the engine room helps charge up the FTL drive, but I've not needed it. Oh god. That is the Rebel fleet. They are going to be... I'm going to go to the exit now. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Board the station and look for survivors. All around you is a stench of death and decay. Suddenly, one of your crew bends over and starts retching violently. Some sort of disease must have wiped out the station. You pull back to the ship, but it looks like your crew member is not going to make it. What? Chewbacca! No! Oh god. We just got off. Oh, we just restocked our crew and... Oh, I made the wrong choice there. But there were life signs. I had to check. <laughs> so now our bug, uh, buggy friend, Trico, is going to be in charge of the uh, cockpit. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure how that uh, works. Anyhow, we're going to go... Oh, there's a stress beacon. Someone might need help. I've got to try it. I'm a good guy. This is, you know, I've got to do this. Stress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. The satellite defense system has gone haywire and the repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. Got to try and help them. You fire a few volleys but aren't able to penetrate the defense system's shields. Its weapons have no trouble piercing yours though and you take minor damage before escaping. The station will need to find help elsewhere. Uh, I'm sorry guys. Uh, we need to get back to this exit now though. Like, the rebel fleet is right behind us at this point. We have to turn back on ourselves to even get here. Next sector. Okay, so you have several routes you can take. Um, I can either go to the blue or the red now. Uh, either this one or this one. And then from there I've got choices depending on which one I took, so to speak. I think if I can... If I can try and dodge the red. Like, red's going to be a lot more hostile, so let's go to the nebula. The nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Placing all of these jump beacons would be no easy task. However, now it's hardly navigable. Mm. I need to try and get to this exit over here. All this is nebula, which is going to be damaging my ship as I'm in it or doing other random effects. Ooh. Let's try and get through the nebula as quick as we can. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it's impossible to tell what is inside. Hmm. Let's skirt around it. We've got the messages more important. It's not worth picking a fight of everything. Um, especially if only Malin <laughs> Trico left. Oh, I can't believe that. 
Um, it appears that an automated Rebel Scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Hmm, let's hit its engines then. Come on, charge up. Oop, it charged up before I did. <sighs> Taking hits. Power down the Artemis. It's got no shields, so the burst laders will take it out in its next hit. There we go. Ooh. Their ship breaks apart, and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Hmm, we need to. Actually, what? It looked like those. Oh, yeah, it's the bridge. And Trike is fixing that as we speak. Um, Why aren't you working? Weird. Why well, aren't you working? Temporary disabled by enemy or location. Oh, the um, nebula is messing up the cameras. That's unfortunate. Uh, there's a stress beacon over here and a store over here. I think I'm going to check out both of those. Both of which are nicely outside the nebula. You locate the source of the stress call, a nearby human human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement and a riot seems likely. Whew, we've already lost one of our members to disease. But I can't deny a request for help. Send your crew to help control the crowds. Your crew tries to keep the crowds in line, but the scene quickly turns ugly. Half crazed with fear, the infected grab mining tools and push back at your crew, forcing them to retreat hastily. You barely get away without injury, but the same can't be said for the colony's leaders. You quickly leave. We tried. Mm, let's head to the store. There's only one other ship at this beacon, and it's showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, Traveller. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Not gonna uh, complain if I get the chance to buy some stuff from you. Uh, gonna fix up completely. Then, hmm, we might be able to buy some new gear. Ooh, we've got some new crew members we can buy. Double damage in combat, 1.2 move speed, half repair speed. So, if somebody got into my ship, it'd be useful to have this guy here, just to cover my ass, so to speak. Mm, neither have any skills of anything. Ooh, I think I might actually prefer just to have a better weapon. Then again, it'd be nice to have a third crew member again. <laughs> wonder how long these one, this one would last. I'm going to go with Ryan. We could use somebody on the shields. Get in there. Uh, I mean, we've got Mal focusing on the weaponry. We've got Trigo on the um, cockpit. And now I've got Ryan sitting in the shields room, making sure they're going well. Uh, I should I need that one, really. Well, not only uh, trouble. Again, as I say, the more power you've got to the engines, the uh, faster you're, faster than light travel, um, drive will charge. But it's not been a problem yet, so. Maybe it's better to, you know, keep it. Uh, keep adding to it to make sure it's not a problem in the future, but uh, I never was one planning that plans their future that well. Navigating the fog blind, you practically bump holes of a mantis ship. They hail you. Pa! This transgression will be overlooked. Nebula very dangerous. Next time, humans all die. There won't be a next time. Open fire. This place is dangerous enough. Move on. Yeah, there's no point starting fights where we don't need them. I mean, oh, I'm in trouble enough as it is. Long range beacon is hidden with, almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Nothing else here? Let's head to the next sector. Either civilian or hostile. Civilian seems the um, better direction. We're out of the nebula. You've entered Zoltan territory. This species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be assured a fair hearing. Okay then. Hmm. 
Let us go... In fact, one thing I haven't done yet. You can upgrade the ship from within here. Um, I've got room for five more crew members here. Use to repair the ship. They. I don't see any need to upgrade it right now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any reason right now. So, let's see what we got. Distress beacon. We better head there. See if there's anybody in trouble. Your cockpit lights up with warning signals. You're being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call was a lure to attract unwitting ships into weapons range. You prepare for a fight. Aye. Mm. Charge up. Hit the drone control because it looks like they're sending a drone. Yeah, they've got a drone uh, hitting my, my shield here, as you can see. The sooner I can take out their drone control, the better. There we go. See, because I hit their drone control, that thing is pretty much useless right now. Boom. Boom. Please don't kill us, we'll give you everything we have. Drone parts, scrap, missiles. No reason to kill if we don't have to. And that wasn't exactly a bad deal. Uh, for me, at least. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Reynolds, get in there. Get rid of the fire. Ryan, give him a hand. We also need to... Ooh, that fire's spreading. Oh, that fire has spread. You get that. Hmm, Trago, I need, might need to send you back there to give him a hand, in fact. I'm keeping an eye on Reynolds' health. Uh, Mal's health. Ryan, get out of that. You need also to go heal. Try get Oh, Christ. That is just not going well. It's spreading faster than I can get rid of it. Okay. Get rid of the oxygen. I close the doors. Or if I open the doors, it, gets, it means there's... Um, ah... That fire's still spreading. And the auction's now down. Guys, get ready to... Okay. Close the doors. We got rid of those fires. But we now have the problem of lack of O2. Get in there, get it fixed. You two have the best repair skills, so you are the best ones to be doing that. However, Trico may need to go get healed. Actually, the O2 is back. Get in there, get the engines repaired. Uh, that fight did more tr was more trouble than I originally thought it was. Okay. Looks. Like, we have pretty much got this under wraps now, though. So, you guys get back to your stations. Once the engines are back online, we will send Ryan back into his station. There we go. And there's another distress signal. Someone might need help. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Let's go down and investigate. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, you find a lone survivor. Mm. Ah. I'd like to invite him to join the crew. But this seems like the nicer... Uh, invite him to join the crew. He happily offers his services for, the t for a time in exchange for getting off that rock. Cool. Charlie. He's got no particular skills, but... Mm. He... Well, he's another crew member. I'm not going to complain at that. So, uh, I'm going to sit in the engine room. You can see, actually, I should have mentioned earlier, see these little people here. That basically means if you've got somebody in that room, uh, like on the control panel, it's going to do better. O2 and Health here don't have them. Neither does the security or the like control things. Anyhow, let's jump to the next system.
Uh, well, not there. It's just in the next area. Let's go up here. We arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Um, no. I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> randomly allow strangers to do medical stuff to me. Or my crew, even. <laughs> Alright, fly safe. You prepare to leave. Okay. Ooh, meteors. Or asteroids, even. You arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Pr Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. You don't have the time for this. Mm, we're going to have to fight them. I'm afraid. Hit there. Not got a very tough... Let's hit the shield room. And then burst lasers focus on the hull. The um, control room. There we go. Oh! Asteroid hit in there as well quite nicely. Get in there. Fix that, Reynolds. You, get in there on the weapons. There we go. You, get in there, fix that. You, get in the engine room, there's no point in you losing health. Uh, actually, you might as well just get fully healed up. Nobody else is injured, are they? Actually, Traco seems to be a bit damaged. Our shield's taking hits there, we need to get out of here. As soon as the FTL charges, I will do. There we go. Mm, can't get to the exit yet. Go here, though. Despite their precautions, pirates have begun to harass the local Zoltan settlements across this sector. One such pirate spots your ship and moves into attack. Saying this is a civilian sector, we're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of people attacking us. Gonna hit the drone area again. Want to take this thing out? Ooh, that's not good. Hmm. I've got disabled the Artemis there, there's no point coming at this point. We've only got two missiles left, so. Although the extra damage would be nice. There we go. You've clearly bested us. We re may request our lives. Four drone parts. Oh, sorry, four fuel, two drone parts, and 16 scrap. Oh, uh, you know what? They're pirates. I'm not going to accept their surrender. Hit their weapons. Come on. Boop. Ah. They still got a shot off, though. Which missed us. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material, including a new weapon. Very nice. Let's have a look at it. Beam 1. Oh, Anti-ship beam one, drone. The combat drone that repeatedly attacks with a small beam weapon. Yeah. How do we use this? I think, I uh, assume you just use it from your cargo then. Close all doors on the ship. Oh, okay. Um, so how do you use the drone? Oh, do you need an actual drone room, I'm assuming? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. I don't know why... Oh no, I know why. I've suddenly got an extra power here. It's because the healing bay, uh, med bay is down. Okay. Everything's back now, so... Let's jump to... Ooh, Rebel Fleet there. Let's jump here and check this place out before we go to the um, exit. There are a few more zealous in their customs checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapons license, but things escalate rapidly from heated discussion to gunfire. Okay, then. In that case, everybody get in here, take them out.
trike, you should probably heal up, which I should have before I realised. Keep an eye on people's hit points. Mm. Hit there. In fact, hit there. Take that off. There we go. I don't want it to hit until the Artemis has hit the shields. Waste of time as that may seem. Uh, okay. Everybody get in there, get healed up. Oh, you can't. There's only room for three people in there, unfortunately. Hit the weapons. Didn't work. Oh well. Uh, you get there, you get there, you get there, you get there to heal. Oh, he's now fixing the med bay. As opposed to healing. Oh, 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 oh. Um. I'm going to use the same trick I used last time to get rid of those fires. Seems like the best way. Why are you not? Shields down, come on. Burst laser should be able to take it. And the fires are out, but should explode leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Good. Close that. You get in there, fix it. Reynolds, help him. Charlie, you need to get ready to move out of there. Go heal yourself. Go heal you oh, it's fixed, never mind, Ryan, you're too late. Whew. I'll tell you what, this game is, takes a lot of thinking. I'm only on the easy mode. Um, but whew, I can't believe how many crew members I've lost. That's just uh, shocking. Hey. Anyway, I think we're going to do one last jump to the exit here. Yeah, let's see if there's anything interesting. Uh, long range beacons hidden with a nebula. And no, that'd be the end of it. So I'm going to call it here, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. This has been Let's Give It A Go playing FTL or Fast and Light. And I've been Binyo81. I will catch you later, folks. Bye-bye now.